Passive physiological intervertebral movement, also known as a PIVM, is often used as an assessment and treatment technique for the spine. PIVM testing examines the components of mobility, pain, and sensory information with passive movement of two adjacent vertebrae. PIVMs provide the following information. Quality of motion, quantity of motion, position of the vertebra during movement, and the end feel quality of a particular segment. In addition, the pain resistance sequence during PIVM testing may indicate the condition is either acute or chronic. The quantity of movement at a particular segment is graded either 1, hypomobile, 2, normal, or 3, hypermobile. The end feel may be described as firm, which is considered to be normal, or empty, which is abnormal, and can be due to spasm or pain. The pain resistance sequence is as follows. Pain before resistance indicates an acute condition. Resistance before pain indicates a chronic condition, and pain with resistance indicates a subacute condition. Although PIVMs are used as an assessment technique, it is also used as a treatment, which we will describe in this video. Mobilization of the spine to change tissues is indicated to decrease pain, relax muscles that are in spasm, reduce edema, increase blood flow and circulation of synovial fluid, and increase range of motion. A painful or hypomobile joint indicate a need for a PIVM in the area of restriction. Contraindications for PIVM mobilization treatment. Absolute contraindications include recent fracture, cauda equinal lesion, and neoplasm. Relative contraindications include osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, neurological signs, and a growth plate issue in children. The study published by Brockford et al. in 2004, a systematic review indicates in a mixed population of patients with acute and chronic lobe pain, mobilization provides either similar or better pain outcomes in the short term and the long term when compared to either no treatment or other treatments. Therefore, PIVMs are an effective treatment in patients with lobe pain, and that more research should address the value of mobilization in acute patients. So to increase rotation to the left at the L4, L5 segment, place your patient in sideline. You will then place your hand at the top of their iliac crest and bring your middle finger over to the L4, L5 disc space. You will then place your index finger on L5 and your ring finger on L4. You will flex the patient's hips until you feel motion at the L4 segment, at which you will then stop. Then take your right hand and place your ring finger on L5 spinous process, your middle finger in the L4, L5 disc space, and your index finger on the L4 spinous process. You will then take your left hand, place it underneath your patient, and impart a left rotation until you feel L4 move. Once you feel L4 move, bring it into end range, at which you will feel a firm end feel. You will then apply small little oscillations for grade four. You will do this for 30 seconds and check in with the patient and see how they're feeling before continuing the treatment. Hi Howard, I'm Monica Hi. Vandervoort and I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Nice to meet you. So last time we found out that you had a hypomobility or decreased range when you rotate to your left yep. at your L4 and L5 vertebral segments mm -hmm. in your spine. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a treatment in which I'm going to have you lay on your side and I'm just going to move your spine back and forth mm -hmm. just in a little rotation to see if we can increase that mobility in those segments. Sure. Okay? Do you have any questions so far? Uh, no. Okay. So I'm going to have you lay on your side facing the wall. Sure. Alright, so we're going to begin the treatment by increasing your left rotation, okay? So I'm going to just place my hand on your lower back. I'm going to bend your hips until I feel motion at that segment. I'm going to switch my hands, okay? okay. And now I'm just going to place my hand right under here, and I'm going to rotate your upper body, okay? Sure. 
so I'm taking you into end range. So I'm just going to apply a little oscillations for 30 seconds here, okay? Sure. So 30 seconds is up. So how do you feel? I feel my symptom is getting less. So your symptoms are better? They're getting better? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to continue this treatment for 10 more minutes. Sure. So I'm going to take you into end range and continue with small oscillations. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Do you have any reproduction of your symptoms? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So I felt as I was moving you, every time you went a little bit farther into that end range, so we're really getting motion in that segment. So I noticed an increase in motion there from the beginning when we started till the end. So you should feel a difference. Um, that segment will move a little bit better and help reduce your symptoms. In this patient-therapist interaction, we demonstrated a grade 4 mobilization at the L4 segment. If there is a hypomobility in L1, L2, or L3, the same principle is applied in which we flex the patient's hips up to that segment to lock out the segments below, and then impart a rotation at the trunk to the end range of that segment and apply oscillations. The outcomes of PIVA mobilization with rotation to the same side is improved functional and segmental range of motion to the same side, as well as a decrease in pain. Depending on the patient's pain level and acuity of the injury, grades 1, 2, 3, and 4 can be used to increase range of motion. If the patient is in the acute stage and has pain, grades 1 and 2 may be indicated. The treatment may be continued if the patient has diminished symptoms. If the patient is in the chronic stage with no pain, grades 3 and 4 may be used. The mobilization will continue as tolerated by the patient. Initially, the mobilization can be done for 30 seconds followed by a break. If the patient reports diminished pain or symptoms, the treatment can be continued for 10 to 15 more minutes until there is an increase in lumbar rotation. If the symptoms increase, the mobilization should be stopped and a different grade mobilization may be indicated.